at least to me, uh, this is still one of the most talked about segments in raw history. When Stone Cold Steve Austin hit Vince McMahon in the head with a bedpan. This is uh, the episode where we would see Mick Foley as mankind try to cheer up Mr. McMahon. And he brings along his old pal, Yerple the Clown. And of course, we get introduced to Mr. Socko. I mean, that night, I feel like everybody was talking about the bedpan. But boy, Mr. Socko, he's going to live forever. What a segment, Bruce. <laughs> Yeah, great segment. It was the whole story was tremendous with, you know, Mick Foley coming in to cheer up Mr. McMahon and uh, how do you cheer people up? Who doesn't love clowns? Right. Here's your pull. Um, and then from there, who doesn't love sock puppets and Mick Foley? I think the sock puppet idea uh, was maybe Al Snows or something like that, but. Mr. Sacco was born and who, you know, the crazier thing is who would have thought that from that scene of a Mick trying to cheer up Vince with the sock puppet, that sock puppet would still live today Crazy. from a high spot in, in Mick's match. And, you know, to this day, Mick will go to do an appearance and just stop at Walmart and get two bushels of tube socks and sit there with his magic marker and draw on Mr. Sacco. And then sell them for eight hundred dollars a piece, and sign them for another three hundred. But uh, hey, hang on, hang on. Did you just did you just infer that in Connecticut you could buy what's known as a bushel of socks? Yeah, you can buy them, especially there in Alabama too. Bushels of socks. Oh yeah. How many socks would be in a bushel, Bruce? Um. About a third of a uh, hairpin. Okay. Or or three quarters of a Furnham Schnavitz. No, 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 no. Not no, that no, many? No, no, not that many. Yeah. I'm not good at fractions. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. That was, not that many. Um, Talk to me about Yerple. Where where does one find a Yerple? Man, it, look for a clown. And wherever the hell we were, and Yerple was a clown they sent. No thought to it. No, it was just clowns are us. And Yerple came out. Yeah. And then from there, when it came time to needing a clown, well, we got to have the same clown. So we had to go back to the same clowns are us to find Yerple's are us and get Yerple back. She was terrible. She was a terrible clown. I How will go on record as saying she's terrible. Now, Bruce, that's not very polite. What? You know, Mick really likes Yerple. What? Why do you think Yerple's terrible? That's a mean thing to say. She was a terrible clown. She just wasn't a good clown. She just was. What makes a good clown? A good clown is funny. A good clown does pratfalls. A good clown is always working to pop whoever is in front of them. She was just kind of, she had her bit and that was it. Uh, who's the best clown you ever worked with? Chuck Sidlow. I, only you would have a fucking answer to that. Tell me about Chuck Sidlow. Chuck Sidlow was boss clown of uh, Ringling Brothers. When I first met him, he was boss clown of the red unit. And then later on, he changed over to the blue unit. It was kind of like Ron Smackdown with Ringling Brothers. They had boss clowns. And then the uh, second best clown, I would have to say, would be um, Lou Jacobs. Hey, you weird. know what? I'm going to tell you, I thought you were making this shit up. No, but Chuck Sidlow is actually in the circus ring of fame. He was in right. He is fame in 2018. Yeah. I can't believe this is a real, how do you know so much about clowns? You don't, everybody knows about clowns. No, they don't. Yeah, they do. But, they, but see, here's the thing, man. Chuck was always working. Chuck was always working. Great clown, man. Never, never stopped. Your pole was just had her bit. Chuck would ad adapt to whatever was around him. Clown. Clowns do, man. You got to know how to be a clown. If you're going to be a clown, be a clown, man. Live it. Don't just do a bit. Anybody can do a bit. Then, then you're just a, then you're just a cheap actress or whatever the hell you are. It's not right. She's not right, man. You gotta, if you can be a clown, commit. Clowns are an important part of our society. 
Chuck Sidlow. Damn right. Yeah, go check this out over at somethingtowrestle.com. I can't believe this is a real thing. We're having a, a whole... You can't believe that a clown is a real thing? I can't believe we're having a, a clown conversation here on something. Well, you brought it up. Well, I just didn't expect you to be so knowledgeable about clowns. Well, I'm a well, knowledgeable I'm... son of a gun, man. Yeah. Okay. Again, now, now knowing that my history, can you understand yeah. my passion for Doink the Clown later years to come? Yeah. See? Chuck and I go way back, man. Chuck and I go way back to Houston, man, when I was like 21, 22. Chuck, I had not seen Chuck in years. This is great. So I had not seen Chuck in years. And last time I'd seen Chuck, he was the boss clown of the red unit or whatever. And I was going to a circus with the blue unit. I knew it was the blue unit in town. And I, I'm there and I'm sitting with a female friend of mine. And uh, a clown comes up. And starts like really messing with me. And I'm messing with him back and all this stuff. And then he starts messing with her about me and says my name like two or three times. And I look at him and it was Chuck in a, in a different clown gimmick, but he was great. But he picked me out of the crazy thing was he picked me out of the crowd. Like, didn't know I was there, didn't know, you know, nothing, but just picked me out of a crowd and came out and did it. That's, that's, that's clown work, man. That's a worker. Not breaking gimmick. Right. Staying gimmick. Yerple did one bit. That's it. She was a prima donna, too. <sighs> I never thought we were going to bury Yerple here on the program. Well, she wasn't a good clown. I'm sure she's a very nice lady. I'm sure Clowns R Us does, you know, very quality clown. Ing. Ing. But uh, they're not professionals, man. Amateur hour over there. Amateur huh? hour over there, man. Come on.